This is Conscience. Make sure you watch the Entertainment Squeeze on RE TV Fridays, 8 p.m. March. On this episode of Entertainment Squeeze, we rang in the New York at French Connection, then chilled on the beach at Sands. We also have highlights from Shaggy and Friends, and Ayara tells us about his song. I'm your host, Sini, and you're watching Entertainment Squeeze. <laughs> Why me crew them clean like whistle? We have a one cash on me machine. Them a whistle, big girl. Them pretty like money. So now that thing me missing. Pray we are ever live a life. It was a packed venue expected as patrons from all over the island journey to Fort Charles in Port Royal to attend one of the most prestigious events that's held on New Year's Eve. Get, 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 get there. The event, which usually takes place in Cayman as it states, saw the general patrons getting down and dirty on the sunken dance floor, while the VIP guests danced above on a high-rise dance floor, drinking boleros and having a grand time. The DJs present received lots of cheering when they pulled up tunes that kept the revelers moving. Although French Connection didn't live up to its usual classy look and feel, it has grown over the past five years. Obviously, because the party promoter Andrew French knows how to keep the party goers rolling in. First class I represent, and we're coming out first class, and I'm your friend. Yeah, I'm a schoolmate, you do it again, you know. Party for the year. It's a good look. Everybody happy, and wear drinks. I drink, I wear drinks, I drink, and we're happy. So, French connection, sell out, first class, I tell you straight, you get in shot. Another premium event which took place on New Year's Eve was none other than Absinthe. The party delivered nothing less than the best, as it provided patrons with good music, premium food and ambrosial liquor. So what we get drunk, so what we smoke weed, we're just having fun, we don't care who sees, so what we go out, and hey, we get a lighter, that's please. how we're supposed to be, cause you know I'm happy, it's like you get wild, keep that in there, and free. Enjoying the party tonight. I'm enjoying it. How's the music? The music is fantastic. This is my first party in Jamaica. So. Where are you from? I will. I'm Jamaican originally, but I live in Miami. Okay, so what are your plans for the new year? Make more money. Well, I must say, it's fabulous. The turnout, great. You know, it's a good start for the new year, you know. A good look for Jamaica and all the things. So. You know, secondly, let me say happy New Year to everybody in Jamaica and sing and sing, you know? But trust me, it's fun. So what are your plans for the New Year? Make more money. She said she feel hurt, got in a earthquake. Your love, love, being take a love break. Money dark, uh, walk. She said me right, right off the chart. And it showed me a dark, matches and spark. Man to woman, couple up like me dark. Same for the cocks, no go beside no shark. Learn off the duck when the missile go off. Absinthe always promises an element of surprise, and this surprise lit the party up, literally. <laughs> Amazing. 
Because you make, especially you know, work, work, gone, work, gone, work gone, gone, you know, time for turn, turn down, turn up, as I should say. Can't ask for nothing more, you know. Licking a man, you feel me, music great. Everything all right. With my friends and family, you feel me, can't ask for nothing better, you see me? So it's definitely, definitely enjoying myself. We rang in the new year with parties all over gyrating from left to right. But on New Year's Day, there's only one place we wanted to be, and that's the ultimate beach chill sands. Well, as you know, we've been leading for the whole 2015 with Amazon Special Sands and we had to ring in 2016 in the right way. This crowd is unprecedented, rum rules. So it's an amazing feeling. Trust me, it's an electrifying right now. Man vibes, up, up. Tell me about your first experience. Oh my God, the road is massive. I was like, where are we going to park? It was like crazy, trust me. Big up Kit, Shooty, the whole Supreme team. Yo, it's shot. Yo, sons. Yeah, for the new year. So tell me why you decided to wear a mask to the party. Because... I don't want to be like everybody else, you understand? I'm very different, I'm stand out. Give thanks to the scene next year, next life in life again, so big up to Ari. Alright, and how are you enjoying the party so far? Yo, Sans, hot! Yo, the hottest Sans this. I'm the first time here, I'm the first time at Sans, yeah? Who is it? So Sans hot. I'm front brag up, I would do a Sans, I enjoy myself, right? Thank you so much. Ari, watch me, who is it? Champion boy, you know the damn thing, go. Man a pour them a singy and temper. Yellow man, man a man shell with the goddamn boy. That's why everybody at the champion boy. I'm a rich girl in the Hamptons boy. The mission never been done at the champion boy. Now man a do my songs that's why. Fly to go eat me at the goddamn boy. Sun, turn up. You already know I'm an artist, Papai Kacha, so I want to stay and enjoy myself. Hear my song I play. Jamaica night, sun, loud, 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 loud. What brought you guys to Jamaica? I would just say for the holidays and then I promote my new song, Hollywood. Shout out to I Can Marvelous, boy, see. So I want to stay and promote and enjoy myself. Holiday. Nikki, you look absolutely stunning and you look so sophisticated. What inspired your outfit? Well, it's Sands, it's Jamaica, it's just the whole entire atmosphere. It's all white, so I just came out and just decided to do what I'm doing, right? Or is it because it's the first of January and just want to turn up for the rest of the year? They say white is purity and it's the best way to start the new year, 2016. I'm loving it. The atmosphere is beautiful. The people is beautiful. The entertainment is fabulous. 2016 is over, man. We've been we got a lot. We got a lot of hits, man. I got over like 40 songs, but I really been doing a lot of a lot of other writing for a lot of other artists. So I wrote I wrote like two songs on Chris Brown's new album, Liquor. And zero, and I got like three more coming out with Chris. So it's just like, it's just I, I'm, I'm, I needed a break from music to spend time with my family, but I got a lot of fans, so I'm excited to come back this year and take it over. Dropping a new mix here for 25 songs and some new videos coming. You know? We never bump, wet dream, and a lot more. You know? Alright, thank you so much. Hello, Ari TV. Hello, no, hello, no. Ari TV, the thing turn up, boys. Right now, sounds up. Oh, 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 oh. No, Ari TV, up, 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 up. Ari TV, I know what they are doing. Don't at all, need not fashion. JX, whoa. You don't know your boy Sean Kingston. Now. We're there in you know. Ari TV. Big up yourself. You don't know what they are, sons. Big up Kingston. Palisades in Port Royal didn't have all the fun. When we come back, we'll show you highlights from Urge and Shaggy and Friends. This is Conscience. Make sure you watch the Entertainment Squeeze on Ari TV Fridays, 8 p.m. Mud. Welcome back to Entertainment Squeeze on Monday night of the Big Bash League cricket game in Melbourne, Australia. Cricketer Chris Gale left the field with 14 runs and 15 balls. He was also trying to leave with sports reporter Mel McLaughlin, but that didn't go too well. Incredibly aggressive approach for you two. It looks like you're absolutely just smashing this innings. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I want to come and have an interview with you as well. That's the reason why I'm here, so just to see your eyes for the first time. It's nice, so... Hopefully we win this game and we can have a drink after. Don't blush, baby. I'm not, I'm not blushing. Um, did you, any injuries? Did you have any, the boys were saying maybe you picked up a bit of a twinge in your hamstring? Looking forward to go recover well and look in your eyes. I'm going to leave it on that note. Well done. Thanks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 
His actions were described as inappropriate and sexist, and he was fined 10,000 Australian dollars. That's about 860,000 Jamaican dollars. Gail, on the other hand, said that his comments were just a joke and were not meant to be taken seriously. Well, that's a very expensive joke. And I to remember is one way to describe the biennial Shaggy and Friends fundraiser for the bus demanded children's hospital. The impressive lineup and the hope of saving a child's life saw thousands turning up on the lawns of Jamaica House. Well, I did I make the difference and I did I take a stand. Let me dare you to think of someone else who's in need of a helping hand. But if I did show our children what it really I'm getting all these great uh, performers together for charity. Credit must be given for the effort that he's made and I'm very proud of all the guys who catch on and come out to Jamaica and make this a success. I think it's very, very worthy cause. Shaggy, thinking about the children, children hospital. I think it's a wonderful initiative, and this is why, above everything else, I'm supporting this initiative. Uh, magnitude was songs on billboard right now we could have been touring now making money for himself him stop all of that just to make millions for the hospital shaggy is not just an ambassador of good jamaican music but him is really an ambassador for kind of heart and soul we have uh, for taking care of the less fortunate and the money they've raised and the work they've done over the years for the Bustamante Hospital for Children is incredible. It was awesome. The crowd was amazing. It's a really positive vibe out there. Everybody's having fun. It's a really, really good feeling to be doing something and giving back and having fun while doing it. This event mm -hmm. is a premier event and that it's supporting a worthy cause. And I've always felt connected to it. Contribution to Children's Hospital is something that we're all very proud of. The concert which is organized by the Shaggy Make a Difference Foundation was the fifth staging. Proceeds from the event goes directly to the Bustamante Children's Hospital. Shaggy, you're the real MVP. Sparity's five days one out of this world experience. Smirnoff Ultra Reverie getaway was just that. The urge was in the air and Entertainment Squeeze was feeling it when we decided to travel to Margaritaville Beach in Ocho Rios for Smirnoff Boardwalk Beach vibe. Hey, I think this, this, this 
the, the final staging and you know it, it's energetic as you can see the concept is great and you know everyone is here having fun and it's awesome you understand me you spoke about it being the final stage have you been to the other events yes i've been to the other events especially the breakfast this morning um it was awesome the scene you know very exotic you know and it was warm and welcome you know, everyone was feeling great and you know the breakfast was awesome party shot man I every year it's singing now party shot like m16 so how is the party so far it's epic i mean wonderful people nice music wonderful food i'm liking it it was absolute fun i always enjoy being on the beach with a good spirit in hand and great music to vibe to Still to come, highlights from the launch of Jamaica's number one dancing talent show and sit down with artists on the rise, Ayara. So don't go away, Entertainment Squeeze will be right back. This is Conscience, make sure you watch the Entertainment Squeeze on RE TV Fridays, 8 p.m. March. Welcome back to Entertainment Squeeze, Charles Chocolate Dancing Dynamite's competition launched on January 2 at Limelight in Half a Tree. I'm all about the money, like broke life never know me. Me, me forever boo, see I'm all about the money, uh, like say I'm a Negro me. Voluntary service and I mean I'm all about the money. That I know the president that I mean. Season 11 of the Charles Chocolate Dancing Dynamite's competition is just going to be on the hook. And you can see what's happening here at the launch at the Limelight Halfway Tree. And we're talking about the fact that this is going to be a very different year. We're going to have two co-hosts. And it's not Jenny. Jenny has a special part. And there's going to be Wheezy in the flow corner stuff. So let me tell you, only for changes, too many to mention. But let me tell you, you are going to love it. It is going to be the biggest, baddest thing ever in Jamaica. So if I were you, I'd prepare myself to fasten the seatbelt because this year we call it Revving 11. And it mad our rev to me for the first of auditions. And that is going to be next Saturday. And thereafter, non stop till the second week in May. It mad. It's a Charles Chocolate Dancing Dynamics competition. And we're glad to have you. Another thing that's already is your girl Kim Weezy representing for Low Charles Chocolate Edna Manley. Yo, 2016 in Naga Normal. You don't know the things that already the contest that them ready. You hear what she said with them? I got rev it out. Rev for 2016. Kim Weezy said that. But season 11 will be electrifying. And as you can see the setup here tonight, we're ready to go. Revving Charles Chocolate, Dancing Dynamites, Revving 11. Charles Chocolate is pleased to be a sponsor once again this year and as title sponsors we will be bringing good things bigger things and better things to this dancing dynamites production hey, hey, best, best the move. Okay. this season's dancing dynamite promises to be phenomenal as always so dancers get on up now another video has been circulating on the internet and this one kind of has me shivering a bit Amidst all the hoobaloo between dancehall couple Shauna Chin and Gullibop, and Obia Man is recorded calling out Chin saying that she should pay her balance. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Fix up yourself. You, you come to me with your problem, and I take it from there, I fix it. Now I ask you for a certain amount of money, and your woman bring the rest. Bring in the rest. Ah. William, Mr. Williams, you know, and you know I don't play, you know, I don't want to bring up the circumnati, but Sabadina Franklin, Master Master, do the black man, pink man, yellow man, Udland, Bongo Lion. So, fix up yourself and bring in my money. That is my see I sit here with. It's like yeah, my man. son. It's like my son, you know. See the people. See them? Yeah? yeah, man. The ring there, the ring there. Kinda iffy about the validity of this Obia man. I mean, I don't know what they're like, but he's chanting some words that makes you wonder. And Chin, if you owe the man, pay him. 2016 already doesn't seem like your year. On a brighter note, an amazing young act to look out for this year is Ayara. You may already know him because he's a member of the Bone to Kill a Lead Alliance Next Generation. Well, my name is Ayara and I'd spell I Y A R A. Born and raised in the parish of Portland. You know the parish of the most rainfall, lowest crime rate to the sweetest old people them. Tranquil like a place called Bellevue. You see it? I really mean above the norm and that's where I see myself. Because you have I, you have Ayer and you have IS. Then you have Ayara, but Ayara is really a part one name, you see me? It's based upon the level of my talent because 
I was living in Whitehall Avenue, and while living in Whitehall Avenue, partnering with Fully Tugs, um, DJing on the ends, you see me have this Rasta brother where hear me a DJ and I say, yo, youth, a high tension of a name, but I'm not a Rasta, so I say high tension. I'm not too like the high tension. And by reasoning and reasoning, him say, yo, a higher rhino. I would just like the higher rhino and run with it. I've been around about five and a half years. Yeah, and I've been putting in the work. Good things. It have a struggle and it have a little struck that I got through. It have a bump to go over, you understand? So, time I always the master is not skeleton, nor onion, you see me? So, maybe my time is now. So, I just have to hope and pray that my time is now. And my new single now um, is for the ladies. It's called OMG, Oh My God. It's going on really good in the streets. We shoot it in Portland, that's my parish. You see me? Um, in a club called Roof Night Club. We shoot it in the pier, we shoot apart in the pier also. And a little in Kingston. Big up Russian girls and the other girls that play their part, but it's a good look. The storyline behind this video is about girls looking sexy and pulling you out. So, um, you have to say, oh my God, that's that the reason why. <laughs> You see me? So that's really the storyline. The, the song I say, Girl will make you love me so bad. Oh my God. Ayer is a versatile artist, full of versatility. I don't really keep myself in one genre of music, you understand? Because sometimes I get real hardcore and I have a time when I me, me tone it down on a level because I just don't sing for one set of people. You see me? I sing for elder people, I sing for younger folks, and I sing for middle class people. Because you don't know. Each one teach one to reach, and I'm, and I'm a messenger, so I have to just spread the message across so everybody can get a piece of it. The dance hall industry, um, we need to get it more closely monitored. Because it's like too much segregation, you see me? Because as we say, each one teach one to reach one, you know, we need to pull it in more closer. Um, be a man, grow up. Just know say things happen in the past, but we can fix things. You see me because you have a, you have a whole lot of talented youth, and because the talent them the east, west, north, and south, we can't we, the thing now get for lucky in the right way. Because if I never that honestly, I a thing would have gone long time. Because you know a bunty killer me say, and you have bunty killer and you have had a heart this way, have them few. You understand what I say? So me as a younger youth now. Just grew up under the umbrella there with the fluid. So it's like me just get myself caught up in a something that I have nothing to do about. So you have to just live it. So right now for 2016, listen me now, artists. One motion. Different colon, different lotion. One motion. I'm gonna tell you this. Get to youths. Make we live it up again. And not give it up again. Loyalty and not the money where you spend. Me at the trees, not gonna know where left a blem. Fall set the egg. How we set the trend, me a prayer dance all, you unite back again. And that's it for this week's episode of Entertainment School Squeeze. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at RETV Jamaica. Hashtag Resqueeze. Back in our new year begins tonight. See you guys later at Mass Camp. Kill them in the see. You see. Angie. Oh my god. Ready. Ready up. Ready up, oh my ah, ah, yeah, yeah. see the girl them. That will make you love me so bad. Oh, oh my God, eyes like a flag. Oh, oh my God, we have like a rug. Oh this is Conscience. Make sure you watch the Entertainment Squeeze on RETV Fridays, 8 p.m.